Hello everyone, uh, I wanted to bring you some gameplay footage of Diablo 3 um, and I'm playing a monk class on the European region. I've reached level 42, this is, um, well it's not the normal difficulty, it's the next one, the, um, you know, whatever it was, Nightmare maybe. And what I'm doing here is just uh, playing through the game again and trying to reach max level, get some rad loot. Uh, I'm also playing a public game, this means that the game sets me up with a pug or, or random people that also are in my um, level range and who also want to play a public game. Um, the thing is that in if you play a public game, the, um, the performance drops quite noticeably, uh, so this game isn't on the max settings on my uh, computer, but it's uh, something medium, I think. Um, also, I do see a lot of stuttering and lag, but that app happens almost every time I start the game. After a few minutes or so of combat and stuff, uh, it goes away. So, if you're in a public game and start uh, a game, um, it's noticeably stronger, uh, the lag and, and all that horribleness, but it, it gets better uh, a little bit on. So, it's not all that bad, but still, it stutters quite a bit and isn't as fluid as I would like, so... I guess my laptop isn't really handled to um, to show off Diablo 3 the best way possible. But anyway, the, the game is quite fun. And um, I see a lot of people complaining that it's so repetitive and stuff. And, and I did play my fair share of Diablo 2. Uh, I never completed that game. But um, but I always thought that that was also very repetitive. And, and But I like that aspect of it. Um, to me, Diablo 3 actually started when I finished the story mode. That, because then I could mm, concentrate on the other stuff that's much better in this game than the story is. Which is loot, combat, um, public groups. Uh, it's much like uh, running a World of Warcraft pog dungeon. But I don't know, it's a little bit less hectic. And, and you don't depend on other people's people as much. Because you don't need a designated healer or a um, tank or something like that. You can play like that, by the way, mind you. But um, basically, it's every man for himself, and and you need you need a strong group to deal with bosses, maybe sometimes. But but mostly, it's just for fun. It's not nothing too serious, I think. Uh, at least at the lower difficulties, of course. I think it's it's quite fun to play. Um, Blizzard is messing around with uh, balancing quite a bit now. We get like weekly patches and whatnot, they, they patch how much loot drops and how much damage someone does and stuff like that. But that's completely normal if you look back at all the other game releases that Blizzard has done, uh, notably StarCraft 2, that had some heavy patching and balancing at first, as I remember. And that's just to be expected and totally normal, but it does mm, mess you up a bit if they, if they, if they play around with the loot drops and the cash and and all the costs and that you just don't get any consistency you know you it's not like I plan any of this stuff up, up front but still it, it feels kind of weird not knowing how much actually something's gonna cost tomorrow or or how much loot you're gonna get when you run the same dungeon again tomorrow so that's that's a bit distracting but otherwise it's really cool and uh, fun game to play I've also played a little bit of Torchlight 2 in the beta and um, while it was also quite fun to play the visual fidelity and um, I don't know care for the world design is nowhere near as high as Diablo 3 I feel the details and then the intricacies of map design in Diablo 3 are just amazing uh, everything feels quite good and the randomness of it all is very well done even though I run this same dungeon here like a few times already before it always feels new and uh, different I know it the overall theme looks the same, like uh, some kind of an Aztec um, pyramid dungeon thing, but it's each time it's different. I mean, it not only just is the path different, but the um, everything is different. I feel like I don't know where I am uh, exactly. It looks familiar, but not not overly so. And that's that's a really cool um, replayability trick they have there. I don't feel any fatigue playing this game yet and uh, it's it's really cool it's just no hassle and just fun um, also has multiplayer so that's that's all I really wanted and Diablo 3 delivers I guess I could talk a little bit about the monk that I'm playing I'm still playing around uh, with the different spells and abilities that you get I don't ha I haven't unlocked all of them yet 
Uh, not to mention all of the runes that can modify the spells and, and um, abilities. So there's a lot of customizability when it comes to your character. And it really plays quite differently depending on what gear you want to have and, and what playstyle you want to have even. You can even play the monk kind of um, a ranged classy type a little bit with certain abilities. But mostly you're like me here, uh, up close and personal and beating the crap out of people. You know, at first I never liked playing um, unarmed in any game. I don't like using fists and, and no weapons at all. But luckily you can equip weapons and... Even though he punches with his pawn most of the time, it's still you're okay by me because I can equip weapons, you know? It's kind of a mental thing, I guess. Um, so why Monk? I don't know. Uh, Monk is basically the only character I've played so far and it's taken me so long to reach level 2. I can't imagine how long um, before I get 60 and then start a new character, I don't know. Uh, my girlfriend's been playing some Demon Hunter and that looks like a lot of fun. I uh, like most of the abilities they have there and the gameplay style. I usually tend to play a roguish character in RPG games and, and stuff like that. But um, here I decided I wanted something that can heal and also dish out quite a decent number of damage. So Monk seemed like a good um, compromise here. S especially because there is not much stealth in these games anyway, so it doesn't matter if you're a roguish character. But turns out it does, because you get traps and, and uh, really cool bow and uh, crossbow abilities. Um, like a machine gun crossbow, that's just ridiculously cool. Um, also, I peaked some, a little bit of a wizard gameplay, and I just totally love the continuous laser beam type of spell that they have. That's just incredibly cool. Um, and to see anyone else playing a wizard is just a joy to watch. Mm. Yeah, the, all these spells and the uh, mm, spell effects in this game, even the ones that the enemies do and have, are really beautiful to watch. <laughs> uh, you can almost forget yourself and uh, and die. Um, so, uh, Nightmare Mode that I'm playing here right now, I think it's Nightmare. It's right next from the normal one, or the easy one. So, um, yeah, it's, it's quite a bit difficult, more different than difficult to play. Um, it doesn't scale up too fast or too much all at once. It uh, kind of um, eases you into it because I couldn't even imagine what the last difficulty mode could be if um, if if this is already quite difficult to play. I know you need like good gear and resistance stuff to actually play against some of the more difficult bosses later on, but um, otherwise I think it's beautifully scaled and I don't feel like it's cheap or anything. Um, it's not like World of Warcraft that you need a certain stat number of gear to just progress. Um, here you just you can do whatever you want if you just play smart. Uh, you can even kind of glitch some enemies by just you know kiting them around. Not really because you don't see what's coming up on front so you might run into another pack of enemies but but still it's 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 doable you know it's not nothing too difficult. Um, yeah, well, basically, I'm coming to an end of this video here. Um, this is some gameplay I recorded and I uh, wanted to put out something different than a trailer in, in a long time. And uh, I actually really like Diablo 3. If you haven't played it already, check out some more gameplay and then try it out for yourself. I think they have like a, a guest pass thing. I, I should have one or two guest passes left. If you really want, you could ask me for one. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and and also all that stuff because that's what YouTube's all about. I'm kidding. I don't care about that stuff at all. So yeah, thanks for watching.